Breaking ranks, Poland becomes the first NATO country to provide fighter jets to Ukraine as it continues to fend off the Kremlin's troops. On Thursday, Polish President Duda said Warsaw will provide around a dozen Soviet-era MiG-29 fighter jets to the war effort, the first of which will enter service imminently. These jets are in their final years of service, according to their technical possibilities. But they are in most cases still in good working condition. Initially, within the coming days, we are handing over four planes to Ukraine, all in full working condition. The other planes are being serviced and prepared and will be gradually handed over. With the war just across its borders, Poland has taken a central role in rallying Western supply of weapons to Ukraine, but the provision of Russian-made fighters is still a big step. With no additional training required for Ukrainian pilots, the Soviet-era fighters are likely to be put straight to use. For months, Ukrainian President Zelensky has been calling for increased air power to defend his country's airspace. But his government is calling for more modern F-16 fighters to be supplied, a point reiterated by Ukraine's Air Force spokesperson. MiGs will not solve the tasks. We need F-16s. But MiGs will indeed help to strengthen our capabilities. The keeper to the keys of those F-16s is the United States, but so far Washington has resisted pressure to deliver any jets, even in light of Poland's decision. Other countries, however, could soon follow suit. There are rumblings that other nations have agreed to send their last-generation fighters as part of a wider coalition deal, with sources suggesting Slovakia could be the next to send its jets, a move the former Soviet satellite state had suggested in the past.